chapter after I know you don't believe me I know you don't and that's okay because I didn't think this could happen either but it did first I called three things that would happen Kagashuji's the bad guy like I said Yomi would be the peacekeeper we take down and Vivia would still be an ally I'm three for three I feel like Steph Curry right now because he don't miss okay let's calm down a little bit because there's a lot to unpack okay we good good People die! You think I'm joking? Watch this. Look at number one get blown to Kingdom Come. This crazy scientist? Dead. Chief Yonko? Dead. Martina Electro? Not dead. Wait, but Ace, I thought she dead. Uno reverse card. Nope, she was saved by Pennywise himself. And guess what? She takes him down and that did her revenge like a Chad. Look at this dude have a temper tantrum. I mean, now that I think about it, I would probably do the same if I watched these two badasses take down my whole police force. Like, holy shit. Who killed Chief Yonko, you ask? Why well, Yuma, of course. Yeah, he murdered the crazy scientist guy that hides in his mother's basement after he learned that his wife was killed in an explosion by him. That's what you get, don't fuck with the chief! Then you have an entire civil war happen as both Yuma and Vivia duke get out with their Captain America and Iron Man. And then my boy Yuma wins. Yeah, fuck off, Sasuke fanboy. Go back to your fireplace. Okay, now that I got that on my system, this chapter is easily 10 out of 10. There's only two issues I had. One was Shinigami, as she's still annoying, but not as much as last time, so that's kind of more of a plus now that I think about it. And two, because this little shit took my ability. I was thinking to myself of what ability I would want, and I was thinking if I could be like Danny Phantom, where I could turn invisible, go through walls, that would be really useful. But then Vivio over here fucking stole it, so I both hate you and love you at the same time love-hate relationship right now. This chapter just had it all. Good characters all around, crazy action, tension, plot twist, murder. Yonko's death is by far the best in the entire game so far. The murder was almost impossible to solve, which I personally love mysteries like that. It gets me really interested. And this is all gearing up for the final showdown next chapter, and I can't wait to play it. We had this really sad goodbye from Kurumi and Yuma. Kind of felt like Yuma was going off to war. I'm off. You know Okami disappears into the light. Then we had this crazy defense mechanism that we had to get past so we can see the doctor. But the whole time Yonko was riding on the robot so he could get through the security system and murder the scientists. And the whole time we're trying to save him because he gets stabbed. But we learn later that he's going to die of like one of three ways. One, the stab wound. Two, the gas he injected. And three, from the mystery weapon. And Vivian had a hunch that this was the case. So he tries to stop Yuma to protect the image of Yonko. And the only reason Yonko did it was because the one thing that made him happy, his wife, died by this guy. And this is where I think Yuma may have finished his potential character art. Because even with all this, he still continues forward to find the truth. Because that's just what a detective does. I could go on and on about this, but I think I made my point with how good this chapter is. So with all that said, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.